Hi everyone, here's your latest video weather briefing. We've got two storms uh, in the works, uh, one arriving on Thursday and then another slower moving storm for next week, Monday and Tuesday. Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service in San Diego. Okay, uh, we've got a lot of precipitation to make up for, believe it or not, after all that significant rain. Uh, mainly the San Diego area was uh, significantly hit uh, and they're up to about normal for this time of the year. A lot of the Southwest, Southern California, is still much below normal uh, in precipitation. Uh, here we are almost February 1. So uh, the outlook looks like this. The main storm is expected on Thursday. That looks to be the greatest impact on Thursday. So keep that in mind. We could have a dry weekend, uh, but the start of the next storm could sneak in. But the main impact looks to be Thursday with showers, uh, occasional showers, lingering into Friday. These are the highlights, two main storms. Thursday, arrival of the heaviest precipitation Thursday afternoon with the heavy rainfall rates, strong gusty winds. Uh, the showers will continue Thursday night into Friday with much lower snow levels. So travel will transition from heavy rain in the coast and valley metro areas to snow problems and snow covered roadways Thursday night and Friday in the mountains. Uh, I'm looking at dry weather for Saturday. Uh, some light precipitation will work its way back in, possibly. Don't count on it, but possibly late on Sunday. Significant slow-moving storm. Now a different storm looks like it's going to arrive uh, for Monday, Tuesday of next week. So just a short window of drying, it looks like. Uh, this is the drying we're seeing right now. This is why temperatures have been in the upper 70s and low 80s. Upper level ridge of high pressure. Break between storms. Uh, the Santa Ana wind helped, uh, and that has faded away, so now we might even see some marine air, low clouds of fog creep on the coast. The storm system I'm talking about on Thursday goes right across San Diego. It's got quite a bit of cold air, some of the cold air we've seen this year, to bring some significant snow to the mountains. It's not out of here on Friday, but we're on the back edge on Friday, so that's why we're just calling for some showers, uh, especially Friday morning, dry Saturday. Uh, the next storm system is different. It's broader, slower moving, hangs offshore, taps into some tropical moisture. So that one will initially be warmer, milder, uh, but still should bring significant precipitation to all of California, including Southern California. It's going to take its time uh, Monday, Tuesday, may even last to Wednesday of next week. The jet stream. That's what brings our storms, and that is going to go just to our south on Thursday, a lot like what we saw a week ago. On Friday, we're on the back edge of it, and that piece of jet energy goes across um, where we've seen a really enhanced subtropical jet stream uh, into the lower 48 across Texas and Florida. The next system next week, you can see there's a big buckle in it, uh, and that's going to cause the slower nature of the system coming into California as shown here. Uh, atmospheric River, uh, it'll sweep across California from north to south, weaken a little bit, but it'll still hold together for Thursday afternoon and Thursday night. Okay, this is what we're looking at for statewide precipitation. Most of this is with storm number one, Thursday, Friday. And you can see painted here in yellow is a slight risk of too much rain along coastal areas as shown here. Uh, if you zoom up in Southern California, latest forecast, all areas one to two inches of rain. Uh, if you're in the deserts, half inch to an inch. But uh, for most coastal major metropolitan areas, uh, including the mountain areas and foothills, one to two inches. Now locally, uh, as much as two and a half or even three inches as shown here on this map. Snowfall. Uh, this is a colder storm when it finally makes it in here Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. So several inches of snow in our mountain communities. Uh, roads will be snow covered uh, with chain control uh, quite likely um, and potentially in our ski areas um, a half a foot to a foot of snow so significant uh, precipitation and snow. The winds will be strong coming up from the south especially on Thursday. Uh, we look for those strong peak wind gusts coming up from the south Thursday ahead of the cold front and the strongest winds for our coastal areas you can see it painted here in yellow uh, where gust potential is 40 miles per hour. That can cause some wind damage. Uh, the next system, like I said, is slower moving. It's got a broad atmospheric river. It's able to tap that tropical moisture. It'll pump up the snow levels to really high levels above 8,000 feet on Monday, 
likely into Tuesday too. This could really saturate uh, central California coast and then eventually down to San Diego coast as well. The outlook calls for those two storms. Storm number one is gonna unfold and bring widespread precipitation statewide. Storm two comes in the week of February 5th and then perhaps a small break and then late February um, or mid to late February, we see the potential for another storm. The outlooks reflect this. So February 4th through 8th, that's the storm number two, a very wet period for Southern California. We talked about Monday and Tuesday being the core of that and cool weather below normal. Some of this storm lingers into uh, the 7th of February and the 6th. So a slow moving storm across the Southwest even moving into the desert. So that's why those areas are painted in the dark green for above average precipitation for that period uh, and cooler than average. The highlights again, two main storms. Thursday storm comes in, unfortunately, Thursday afternoon with the heaviest precipitation, lighter precipitation in the morning, heaviest in the afternoon during the commute. Some of those rainfall rates could cause urban small stream flooding. Um, it's also going to send the San Diego River likely up to its flood stage over 10 feet. Showers linger Thursday night into Friday. Um, the big deal Thursday night into Friday is the lower snow levels. Uh, dry weather for much of the weekend. The next chance for precipitation ahead of the next storm looks like on Sunday. And that could be significant. Uh, Central Southern California uh, with a slow moving storm system working its way off the Pacific. Um, for more significant precipitation. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Check weather.gov for the latest information.